Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles, where last episode before Shulk and Ryan could begin their path of revenge, we turned back and around Colony 9 to sort out some of the quests, some of the tasks, some of the requests of our townsfolk to build up their affinity and to build up our powers. But when we entered Magmel Ruins again, opening a new door, striking out on a new path. Help! The big guy saw me. I love how the music just I was getting into the music and then it just abruptly stops. Just just stopped. I got a happy rabbit though. I'm glad the rabbit is happy. Something tells me that this isn't gonna go too well for me, weirdly enough. Considering it was a boss before and then you refight it. If it's the same level, easy. There's only Two of us this time, though. Still can't heart to heart here yet. No. Ah! We don't have the people for this one. Whoever they are. Oh, you're not even in trouble. Why is he worried about me? He's always worried about something or other. You can't see I'm fine. Ain't nothing wrong here. There's no point in reporting back. You just, just, just carry on worrying. Anyway, thanks for coming. Here, take this. By the sound of it, it was more to tell you that you could jump off. Oh, and then give me another quest. I know, what am I gonna do? I was supposed to make sure I kept it safe. That's it, I must have dropped it in Tefra Cave. Sounds like you've got a problem and we should be worried about you. Ah, that pen was really important, I went and lost it. I've looked everywhere but I can't find it. Was it really that important? My girlfriend gave it to me for luck when I joined the force. Ah oh, yeah, I remember, you really love that thing. I think it's coming back to me. I was near Vidya Lake in Tefla Cave and rocks started falling. I rushed down in a hurry. I think I dropped it somewhere near the block path. Sorry to ask, but could you go and look for it for, it for me? Sure thing, Vidya Lake. Something tells me Tefra Cave is a lot bigger. Let's go to Vidya Lake in Tefra Cave. Search around the collapsed path. No problem, leave it to me. Nothing can stand on the way with me and Shulk on the case. You just take ease and sit tight. Just kiss already. <laughs> Let's give it all we got, Rain. All the hearts floating around. All the constant back patting. I'm not scared of the uniques per se. I just prefer not to have to run away when I realise I can't do them. <laughs> or more to the point, I prefer to go free people. So I'm kind of just buzzing past them until maybe we find a new pipe member in the future, eh? Not Mr. Ridiculously. Oh, he's not even there now. Alright, well, onwards we go, finally. Plus, we've done loads of side quests. We've got more side quests. And I want to move forward now. At least we still have rain time. Yes, we do. An ether lamp. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. We can follow them to the Bionis Knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. Definitely. Plus it feels like I should actually have a faux pie member for affection, affinity building reasons, to be fair. It feels like what I'm missing. Hopefully nothing chases me a mile away and I can do the back step of peril. That scared me slightly. I don't know why I did that then. <laughs> so this must be Lake Villia. Oh, whoa, 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 We don't have to fight that noble broke yet. We're gonna go down and fight him, sure, but I didn't mean to target him in the first place. What's this, however? A mining spot, an ice ether deposit. Find ether deposits and harvest crystals. Harvest very pure ether crystals from ether deposits. When you have exhausted the supply, try return later. Right, one. We got a different sound then. A Titan's gift achievement, whatever that was. 
round to go achievement. A spring of grief. Hopefully not mine. Why do you want to- Oh, Rain, you scared me! Crap! Why would you do that? Just suddenly ran up the wall on the other side. You cannot see this heart to heart yet either. Nope, we'll have to come back for a lot of things by the look of it. I mean, that guy looks, uh... Solid Conniff. He's definitely, uh... A unique. In the meantime, we want Noble Broggy, don't we? Everyone, let's go! So we'll get to rhyme. Yeah, I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting into this. How is that not a side attack? Come on. What's me? Fight! That's the topple. Powering up! We got through that pretty good! Man, what a bunch of jokers! Right, a mollusk mucus. That's not actually what I needed. There's definitely unique there next to all those crabbles. Ah, oh, that's what I needed though. I'm collected. Job done. Kneecap rocks is what we got instead. Wait, what's with the uh Good question. What's with the light? Problem is if I go near it, that guy's gonna tap me. Hatred. Sticking uniques in my way. I don't understand the systems. And I don't want the aggro. How do I increase Rain's aggro generation? Good. Nice job. Oh, we didn't get the other one? Did the other one run away or something? So much damage though with that backslash. Man, what a bunch of jokers. It's almost like they want you to fight the uniques, yeah. I'm worried about this. Like it feels like somewhere. Oh there we go. But we need spider silk, don't we? This looks like a good place to get it from. Just one more. Did this guy get poisoned or something? Now it's 130 right random damage. Yeah. Don't mess with the best. Alright, range of shoes. There's one of the things we needed. One arachno silk. And a ton of knocked out or dead people. What the? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, they're injuries. They weren't made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traders, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Shulk, my turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> hey. Why do you think the Mechon attacked? Are we just food to them? Or what? 
Did we do something wrong? Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night, Ryan. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Ah. <sighs> it is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Uh, Shulk! <sighs> Ryan! <sighs> More worried about the big spider. Just wonder if I can hit multiple opponents with this to kind of wipe them out. Oh, that works. Right, AoE worked perfectly. Uh, got into battle quite randomly. It seems we're a bit better off than we were a second ago. Kill the directors, guys. Let's focus on this guy. No problem. Right, you're a lifesaver. Come on, Move it over. Get the side attack and go from. Can you stop moving, please? I want to side attack you. Well, there's another director of Rackno down. I AoE them good. 
don't even need to heal him. He's done fine for his HP. And we can finish that off. Oh no, spiders. Tons of them. I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. Okay then, you could tell him. I don't know. I would. But now, where we were sleeping is a pit of monsters and more monsters. Spiders and more monsters. It's a beautiful pit. There's some loads of stuff to gather in there as well. That's what I'm curious about. It looks like if I fall here, I have to walk my way up back up again. I know if I want to gather that or not. Seems like going around here is the place I'm supposed to be, but there's also a quest around this side. Is that what you're missing, sir? Ma'am? I can't remember. Tatty armor, mentors of a lost son. So he lost his armor on the way here. That's the first bit, so hopefully we haven't missed anything. I don't need more spiders in my life, though. Oh, lovely. We're going to disturb the nest. What on Bionis are those? Monsters egg sacs, I think. But it looks like there are mechon parts inside as well. Man, what kind of monsters are they? Probably some type of arachno. Ryan, get back! Ryan! No. If that vision comes true, then Ryan, I've got to find him. As long as these eggs don't hatch, eh? As long as these eggs don't hatch. While we're right in the middle of them, sound types will attack a response to noise. These will attack if they hear someone run past them. Ryan's in trouble, Ryan's in trouble, but I've got a walk it. Ryan's in trouble, Ryan's in trouble, but if I run... Yeah, here we go. Interesting mechanic we have found, an ether deposit I cannot claim. No running here. Hey. Okay. What about walk running? I don't even understand. You think you don't give up, do ya? Ryan! I've got to hurry. If I can get up there, I should be able to reach him. We're climbing up. The icon is to play on climbable walls and pillars. Go that way, he says. Can I save this at this point in time? Oh, you can still even save inside caves. For some reason, I guess other, <laughs> other games I'm playing has made me think, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. 
I worry about things. This is video really late. We were supposed to do something here. Probably kill that thing. I'm glad nothing in this water is attacking me, but it is slowing me down if I wanted to run through. Don't see many treasure chests around. I'll take some insanity mint, because that's always a good thing. A weird buzzing noise at the moment. I was about to say, are the spiders coming from this way? Obviously not. They don't care for me. Obviously, I don't look tasty enough. I can't let another person die. I'm the one with all the power, after all. Hopefully he remains super buff. Right, we've got a new ability by look of things. But first of all, shield, new art learnt. Great and all. However, the party can now have visions of the future. During battle, the party will be able to see in advance the dangers that await. What? Huh? The vision tags show information about what will happen in the future. Victim status tag? What? Attacker attack tag, time tag. The colour of the art name tells you which type of art the monster will use. White text of talent art, physical art, or an ether art. Oh god, I gotta remember that as well. And I gotta use the right thing to counter them. Red is physical, purple. Oh, it's blue text, that's definitely purple. <laughs> purple text is ether art, okay. Press B near another party member to warn them about future danger before the vision becomes a reality. There must be at least one block in the party gauge to do that. Warning a party member about the future will allow you to select an art from the form. They will automatically target the monster that attacked in the vision. Okay. Warning another party member about the future and using their arts might change the future. When the future changes, the vision tag is destroyed and a new future is born. Avoid danger by changing the future in your favour. So you get a period of time. Do I count a physical with physical and a, do I count a red with red and purple with purple? Or, uh, uh? So you're not only fighting the boss and trying to stay alive normally, you're also trying to constantly stave off a future that could lead to death. What the hell is this? Is this what we didn't get in ZB2? I gotta get my wrap around my head around this. I'm so gonna die. <laughs> this battle, I'm so gonna die. It's not you can reverse time. You predict the future and avoid it. Avoid danger by changing the future in your favor. A monster's talent arts can be only be blocked using shield. So the white arts can only be blocked using shield. When tap right now crush one talent art, if the pie leader is rain, tell Shulk to use shield to change the future. If the pie leader is shock, activate the Milan and use shield to change the future. So white use shield, red and the other one I'm not even sure. 
Right. I'll hold off the big ones' attacks with the Monado. Uh, you deal with all the little ones. What are we seeing now? Uh, oh, sorry. What is happening to me? Right. Monado, lend us your power. Aura burst. All right. Not gonna happen. And I can't shield on myself, which changes like this future. Awesome. Leave it then I good. attack okay, here. Got it. What is going on? Right, so I shielded myself because he was attacking me. Now he's attacking Ryan. I now have a chance to use an art. And it seems everyone's fine for the time being, I guess. So we avoided death then. We got another future incoming, or? Now! Kind of need to kill the ads. Fight at the moment, after all. As long as we can kill these guys, I'll be okay. Alright, we just got the boss left. I think shield the place to everyone, yeah. That was quite nice. So I kind of need to power up the Monado again. Go from there. I just realized I was running past the thing fast. I think they're getting more babies again. I kind of need you to help me a bit here. Oh, another vision of the future. We're getting Rekno crushed again, so it's time to use shield. Where is he? He's on the floor there. Let's use burst to get. Oh, I can't use burst this time. <laughs> so confused. Please topple him. Would be nice. I guess we could chain attack, yeah. All right, do it. I'm powering up. Oh, we're seeing another version of the future. I'm being arachno crushed again. I was gonna do some other stuff. I have to protect everyone now. That'll do. So now I'm shielded again. This is not good. Not broke at the moment. Why can't I use that, man? I'm just wondering, like, which ones do AoE? Because everyone's pretty much fine at the moment. That will lower his physical damage the more again. If I used a chain attack, I wouldn't have had what I needed. We nearly got him. And there he goes down. I'm not even sure what was going on. Looks like the Monado works on more than just Mekon. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Ryan, I just realized something. Huh? The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. A warning? Yeah. A warning about what will happen. What will happen if I don't do anything? Or if I can't do anything? so I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You've got my vote. And if you really can do that, I think Fiora would have liked it too. Yeah. Right, let's get moving. We're nearly at the Bionis knee. Okay.
We got the Queen's Guard fluid. Wasn't that an incredibly insensitive sub thing to say then? Like, yeah, Fiora would have liked that too. Yeah, she's dead. She would have liked it if you had that then, or understood it, and had the powers. That was a bit insensitive, wasn't it? What the hell? What the hell? But yes, I do know, like, taking his order and doing that was using some of the chain gauge. I was fine with that, because at least I got, like, that like, counter-attack to lower the physical damage, yada yada. Uh, I tried to use a chain attack, and then I was like, ah, oh, but then he's used a chain attack to use a shield, the shield doesn't use a chain attack. I do realise that, don't worry. I wasn't wasting anything, I was just using it in a different way. I guess. We'll take the Queen's Gut fluid and manage to survive. Block a monster's talent arts with shield. Monster's talent arts have different levels. To block a talent art shield must be at the same level or higher. If you come across a monster that uses high level talent arts, see if you can level up shield to match. It's basically saying, level up shield, guys. Level up shields. You can now set up skill links. If two party members are linked by affinity, they can take advantage of each other's skills. Ooh. So I can take, like, aggro up or heals, for example. Press one on those skill trees. You mean, like, on the skill trees? Sorry, wrong thing entirely. Skill trees we're talking about, not arts. Press one on the skill trees screen to show the skill link's screen. Not bad, if I'm, if I'm that good at the moment. That's the tutorial, then, you. But we beat off the horrible horde of spiders. And that's all I really care about. So skill links is one. So I can link these, can I? So I can take, for example, medium weight armor, or defensive and start battles with high level enemies. But only when they fit certain slots. Ah. And you can only take one of them at a time. This is interesting. Another system there. Right. I guess I can just do that, and it's fine to do that. And it doesn't have any minus points for me doing so. But it seems like I leveled up at least the first level, Men of Fortitude. Etc, etc. Ah! In the meantime, I'm going to, of course, um, level up shields. <laughs> Reasons. I think reasons to level up shield are quite high right now. And shall I get uh, aura burst level up as well? I could do bone up too. Well, we survived. That's all I care about. That's going to be an interesting battle mechanic. You just keep seeing yourself die repeatedly. <laughs> And pray that it doesn't really happen and you have the right counter. Well, how can we bust this down? Oh, I'm still in the menu. Okay. Leveling up shield. Definitely something I'm going to be doing a lot of. Definitely what I'm going to be doing a lot of. We made it out of the cave before we actually found more of the stuff that the guys wanted me to find. We've got to come back there for uniques. No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side of those clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Maconis. Mm. Our enemy.
Okay, we're being watched as we finally get out. And I'm wishing I'd bring some, like, picks and some climbers gear. Because that's a long way up. A long way up. Food safe foe! Why not? If we just came up the Bionis shin, then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Right, we're on kneecap hill. The shin bones connected to the... Is there a heart to heart here for these two, or still something to do later on by the look of things? We'll gain more affinity for. If you hammer beat it, I'll do the rest. We're gonna hear Ryan time all the time, yeah. We win! Who else wants some? I like how fast the battles are. <laughs> sort it out, move on. Colony 6 we go. Is there an enemy like right here? Or is it a... Is it... What? <laughs> when you pick up a collectible or a treasure chest item, you may have a vision. You should try and keep any items you will need for a future quest. I can see about quests in the future <laughs> to keep hold of things. What? I thought like a monster was going to land on me from above. Or the mechum were going to like snipe me with a gigantic or crush me or something like that with a tank. I don't know. <sighs> what? I was like, Ugh! Items necessary for future are marked with an exclamation mark. That's the two clear elements. You better get them back quickly. Well, thank you for worrying me, game. <laughs> thank you very much. It was nice of you. My egg right now. Pretty good. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Not so much. So I'm guessing I'm going to see that future section quite a bit. Oh, we got the second clear armor now, I guess. There's arms bunnets over here. All the bunnets you can ever need to kill. As we reach leg pass. How to mess with his mind, 101, making plays LMA Chronicles 1. Huh, what's happening now? Well, we found some people. Maybe it's for them. I really want a clear almond, they said. Good day. Ah, oh, it's reference to bumming anyone else in this area. You look like you can handle yourself. Do you think you could take out a couple of leg Arden for us? They're always attacking us for no reason. I hate them things. The leg Arden, they're named after the place they are. Thanks, I appreciate it. Like I do live on Gara Plain. Good day. I know that name, Gara Plain. Gara Plain is massive. A lot of things live there, including monsters that like to make trouble. They're down on your guard for a second, they'll trash the stock. Those Maker Bunnets are causing utter chaos. Can you take a few of them out for us? Maker Bunnets too. Ah, I know I can rely on you again in the future. You mean you've got another another Good quest. Day. And another one. Field Ponyo. They're quick on their feet and as aggressive as they come. They're a constant hassle for travellers like us. Can you sort them out? Sure. Thanks a lot. It's a relief to not have to worry about those things anymore. Anymore? Good day. I've already asked you to do three favours for me. Sorry to ask, but I just need your help one last time. Do you think you could get us out by helping out some of this leg wolf? The constant howling really puts us on edge when we're trying to rest. Sure, I can deal them too. Thanks so much. We really appreciate it. You can find leg wolf all over Gower playing at night. They might have a layer somewhere. Yes. Alright, in the meantime, we've got a shop here. I haven't actually had to sell anything yet. Ooh. That is good. Oh, buy one.
Anything else good? That's what we're wondering. Good for both? How much cash do I have? Quite a bit, to be fair. I feel like it's about time to, like, boost my power a little. It's great for everyone, really. I think I could buy a full set of things. And then there's definitely stuff I can sell as well. Oh, I could just nearly buy a full set of things. I need to sell a little something. What can I sell? Alright, selling items. Select the item you wish to sell and press A. Okay, to switch item categories and E is displayed on any item that is equipped, etc. La la la. Well, we got loads of socketed things here. Don't tell me we'd already found ourselves some good stuff. <laughs> it, would, it, would, it would be very me. I sell this crap. That's enough to get me the thing I need. I might have to just sort out my items at some point in time. Right, we've basically just nicked all our cash. Nicked our cash. That's exactly what we've done, yeah. It's time to equip. We need that defense power. You never know when we might fight another gigantic spider after all. I don't necessarily want to. Two we bought here, which they have sockets too. We've changed to a nice blue. You had good gloves anyway, by the look of it. I'm guessing we're going to be fitting a colour kind of set overall. Ah, some nice boots. I'll take that. So it depends on the character as well, how the model turns out. We're really going with blue as a theme. Yeah, very much blue as a theme. And the new weapon. I think that's the one we bought. That's 220 to 300. Oh, it's based a more attack based one rather than a defense based one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right, hello, a new gear. An absolute no new gear. Too bad I can't put anything in places. Well, let's continue on in our fancy blue stuff. We are, we are team colored in unison. This is what we needed. I could sell all the things, yeah, but I don't technically need to buy all the things at this point. So out into the world we get. To Gower Plains. Beyonce's his leg. Oh, Shulk, look over there. Smoke? Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. But everywhere's a good place for a barbecue. As long as the weather's okay. Ever types will attack in response to ever use. What? Okay, so I use an ever ability and it will come. It's got like a radiation sign. If an art indicate these will take an art indicate with a horizontal line is used. Will they just come and get me or something? I'm confused. Where's the leg Arden? We can't lose! This one's mine. He's gonna let anyone else get summoned as we've discovered Gar plates. He's toppling him. Really feeling it. Yeah, sure. Looks like uh, he 
taking a fair bit of damage in the meantime somehow. Kinda need a definitive healer. Wow! He took a ton of damage. I guess I could have shielded him to be honest. Or used some other abilities. But we'll take one defeated and let his health regen. That hurt! Ether. The daughter Amu. There's another leg Amu over here, just separate from the rest. We can't lose! Let me at him! You attack him with what? Legging it or fighting me? I don't know. How good a win! Will I get will I get the stuff on the normal stuff as well? Let's use Monado Buster to just take him out this time. Right, was that quest complete or did I need to kill stronger ones than that? I think I've beaten enough, haven't I? There's two it wanted, wasn't it? No, our leg are done. There are moves. Hmm. Leg are done. Amu. Notice the name, not just the species. There's the Flammy again. I really need to learn to shut off that menu. Turkin! Where's French? We found Jabos Rock Rest Area. Fine fly over there. Where is Princess? Oh no, Countess! Turkin height. <laughs> That's an Arden. Hello. He's a territorial rock bar. At least he's a bit slower than before. A little bit. Where did that Arden go to again? There's another monkey I'm not hugging. So don't ask. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? There's a boy. He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. You should be less surprised, really. I found an almond. And I spaced out. Well, luckily we've got a destination marker. I'm worried about where Mr. Rotbart of Territories is. I guess. That's a Ponyo over there. Everything's quickly got up to my level again quite fast. That was me thinking I was ahead of the trend. Obviously not. Right! Let's do this! Let me out! Oh, don't hit me! 
bleeding. How do I stop the bleeding? Oh, I've got a new ability. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, no, I've completed the quest. Fine. But I'm bleeding. I'm trying to out of harm way last. Maybe it's just him being a little too friendly. I'm bleeding out. I'm bleeding to death here. <laughs> Save me. Alright, so this isn't the war I'm looking for. It's somewhere further up this way. Where's Mr. Territory? Where's he got to now? This reminds me of somewhere. Well, this is a location. Near some weird ruins, by the look of it. Well, the territory of Rockbutt's gone off for a day. We've just collected a fire tarantula, and now we'll see... Uh, hmm. Am I high enough to beat you? You look a bit nasty. Let's do this. Ready when you are. They're berserk, Ardun's times Come two, on. guys. We definitely do this. Right. Right. You're a lifesaver. And they're both going for me. If they make me bleed, I'm not going to be happy. Have I not killed one yet? Yeah. Ah, I'm bleeding again! How do I survive, please? Double is good! I'm bleeding out! Oh, he's still alive, it's fine! He's bleeding out. Life is not fine. I think we can finish it. Whew. Okay, it should work now. Great. You saved my skin. My buggy short circuited. And then there were those monsters, and. Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um, where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here, but they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. Alright, so now everyone in the chat is basically making puns involving bad Juju and Juju's Bizarre Adventure. Who could have predicted this? We have a guest. What does a guest mean? That he's just with us? Well, look at it, yes. Can I take the buggy? Why did you strip me of my buggy? I need that.
I mean, if I fixed it, short circuited, it burned. I don't care. I'm going that way. Why am I going that way? That's towards the territorial rot part. But it told me to go that way. I'm confused. Where am I now? <laughs> Where even am I? Well, let's just follow the marker. Nothing can go wrong, surely. Just keep scouting for doom and death, essentially. That ponyo baby, it's a nice ponyo. We've got the family unit set up for some reason. Uh, why? Okay, I collected a thing, it's fine. <laughs> the third buff crawler. Me and Rain always used to play with these when we were little. Look, guy. I thought the blooming rock bar was about to hit me or something. Uh. Everyone, let's go! Let me at him. I kinda do need to kill this. We got a quest to kill a couple of these after all. Get him down! Don't aggro me! No, oh, why am I bleeding again? It's like the worst now debuff that ever up. existed. So this is what teamwork is. Ah, wow, down. Yeah, I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting into it, right? Monado. Basta. Before it kills me. Yes, York. Get stuck in. Hit it. Just once. Like a good fight. Piece of cake. Oh, there's territorial, mate. We got quite boots, leg ar boots, and a pony neck meat. We got one of five of them defeated. And Territory Rock Bar is now currently where I need to go. Of course he is. 